Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a get it all done video. I'm gonna share with you a day in a life type vlog. I'll be running some errands, cooking, cleaning, things like that, just sharing with you my day. I've already got our morning routine done. Jackson is now at preschool for the next two and a half hours. So I am about to get my dry cleaning and return my old or trade in my old iPhone for when I have a new one, which I'm filming on at the moment, is the iPhone 11, which I'm really excited about. But I just wanted to give this video a little introduction, let you know what's going on, but I am about to pop into the dry cleaners and pick up our dry cleaner. Dry cleaning, check. Back in the car, finished dropping off my UPS package and headed home to do a quick face of makeup before I clean the house. Stumbling out of bed. But before I getting my face on, I decided to start a load of laundry. I previously like started wasted. our bed sheet Every time I see before your taking Jackson face, to preschool, so I'm switching a load. So it'll be dry in time for me to it's make like I'm wasted and I won't waste it. And I promise that I will stand by you forever I can't get you out of my mind now this is my everyday makeup look I currently I will post my current forever. everyday makeup basket down below it's basically all the products I that I have been using on an everyday basis but I'll also link the products down below for you guys who are interested these are my pan that palette and project pan items I've just been working on and trying to get out of my collection or get better use out of now cause I don't want to slow this down my heart is screaming out your name I'm wasted on you here we are right underneath the stars so let's get a little reckless you make me breathless and I won't waste this and I promise that I said I I will stand by you forever and I won't waste it First thing I want to get cleaned is Jackson's room. While he's in preschool, I like to make sure his crib is ready and his room is all nice and clean for when he comes back. Also want to do a good vacuuming of this room. Jackson now has like a fear of vacuums. I don't know if any of your children have gone through this, but in the beginning, Jackson loved it, would watch TV, not care about the vacuum. But now every time the vacuum cleaner goes off, he needs to be held and is crying. So if you have any suggestions, let me know down below. But just tidying up this room, making sure it's ready for him to go. So 
Now that Jackson's room is all taken care of, I'm moving downstairs to the kitchen, putting away any dishes, everything that's on the counters, and just cleaning it up. This is where my battery comes to dying, so I'm going to share with you a quick overview of what's left of the kitchen, and I will be working on it off camera. So while my camera is charging, I went ahead and finished cleaning the kitchen. As you can see, there's now dirty dishes in there. Clean the sink, clean the counters, clean the kitchen table, wiped everything down. So right now I'm just gonna pick up everything off the floor and start my Roomba so it can do a good quick vacuum of the bottom floor of my house. I also am gonna go into my living room 
and just kind of clean this area up, especially that coffee table. The coffee table is where Jackson normally eats his breakfast, so I need to wipe that down really good and just, like I said, pick up everything off the floor so the vacuum cleaner can go. So I pretty much have everything off the floor that needs to be off the floor for the Roomba. This ball pit that we have is just really not good with the Roomba because there's like little tags on it, but everything is relatively good to go. I'm going to let the Roomba do its job and start cleaning up stairs. I have about 40 minutes before I need to go pick up Jackson but I'm so happy with my progress down here. So there's a whole bunch of stuff on the dining room table. Cleaned that up. I didn't do much in here. I do need to clean the bathroom, the towel and stuff later. And then wiped down the counters. I picked up the dog bowls and stuff, moved the high chair. High chair typically is right here, but I want the Roomba to get in there, but Clean all the counters, put away dishes, hand washed, things like that. And then in our living room, there was a bunch of toys and stuff on the floor. I have this like spider web thing for over the coffee table, but I don't want the sides of it to get caught in the vacuum. So I have that. And then my two Mickey and Minis are normally on both sides of the fireplace. And I have them up right now too. But everything else majority is picked up and cleaned up so i'm going to wait till the vacuum cleaner is done and get back to putting everything back where it needs to go when it's all said and done stumbling out of bed and i still got you in my head from all those pretty words you said once the sheets like were dry i started to make my bed to make sure it was ready for the night the then i'm also I going to do some of it's the like dreaded laundry and I won't waste it And I promise that I I will stand by you forever I can't get you out of my mind I will follow you wherever And I won't waste it Slow this down, my heart is screaming out your name I'm wasted on you Here we are right underneath the stars So let's get a little reckless You make me breathless And I won't waste this And I promise that I Time to tackle the laundry. I'm watching some YouTube on my iPad just to kind of pass the time while I do, you know, this dreaded task that is never ending laundry. said I I will stand by you forever and I won't waste it
so I actually have the bathroom door open and our cat Todd is starting to jump on the counters and wanting to get the q-tips from our q-tip container so I just have to keep putting him down and making sure our bathroom door is shut. Do any of your cats ever do that too and they just want to find and get all of the cotton off of those q-tips? Todd is obsessed with it. Somehow I know you're gonna be the girl that I'll end up calling my own. And then I left the closet door open and he walked right on in so I had to come and take the poor kitty out. We don't like Todd to get his orange fur all over our clothes but man he was just in a first mood. If you're curious where our dog is, Copper likes to stay underneath the bed when I'm doing a lot of walking around. I don't know why he didn't just decide to go on the bed with Todd. Todd was all into everything, wanting to climb, play, and Copper is just watching from below, which is very interesting. He normally likes to be with me, but he just wanted to walk. So it's actually time now to start picking Jackson up. I'm going to finish organizing my recycling and trash. When I get back, I'm going to charge my camera's battery. You can still hear my um, vacuum going, but yeah, I'm going to make sure, pack like a snack cup of goldfish. I brought snack today for class so I know they had like a granola bar and some cheese. I decorated it like a ghost with the three little the eyes and the mouth. So I'm gonna pack some goldfish and cheese it's in a container for Jackson and I have some pouches as well. So I'm gonna do that. He normally passes out in the car so hopefully the transfer goes well. If not I'll feed him regular lunch. But Vacuum is still going on. So I have about three minutes before they open the doors and let us go pick up Jackson. I just wanted to tell you, he is doing like a two day mom's morning out program kind of thing at our local church. He goes from about 8.55 to 11.45 there. So what I make sure to do when I am picking him up because some days he just cannot make it all the way back home for lunch. I, you saw me pick up those chumis and then I get the pouches and then I get a snack cup and I have two pouches. I have one fiber and protein and then I also have applesauce. So he normally sucks those down. I also have a water for him and some teethers. So pretty much I just make sure to have everything set up. So when he is in the car, he can, I can pass it back there. He can eat the chewies. You can squeeze and it doesn't come out. So yeah. I don't think we got enough time to 
Sort out all the fights, yeah. sort out all the lies. Oh, baby, yeah. Oh, no. There was a part of me that knew that. And still, I'm caught by surprise. Oh. I thought you'd always. I'm super happy the vacuum cleaner is charging. I'm pretty sure it's not done for downstairs, but at least it's charging. Jackson is officially transferred to the crib. Showed y'all that success. So, what I like to do is just kind of clean up. It looks like he pretty much almost finished one pouch. I started the applesauce, I opened it, but then he didn't want it. So I'm gonna put that in the fridge and he can have it like after swim. We have swim today. Um, and then he had like a couple of goldfish. The preschool teachers were saying that all the kids really loved the snack today. I got the Cliff Kids iced oatmeal cookie bar things. I'll show a picture of it for you guys who are interested. But she said even the picky eaters were eating it. And I just found that like the other week and I thought that would be a good snack as well as the little cheese things. So, oh, I forgot in the car. So it looks like they did like a sunflower, like finger painting or paintbrush, who knows, a little art. And then they did some apple stamps, which are pretty cool. So I'm going to hang these up on the fridge. I also have something in the playroom to hang them up. I also really like to take pictures and put in like his little photo album of his artwork because we all know we're not going to keep everything. And yeah, that way I can still save it and say that I have it. And I'll put in like a photo album or something for looking back on. And then I like to look in here, make sure there's no notes or anything. They pretty much just let you know if there's been a diaper change. And he had one diaper change, which was good. So I'll need to restock his for tomorrow. And then that's just the snack calendar, which we've already had. So everything is set to go. Not too much to clean up today. Let's see if they give me any leftovers. I highly doubt it. There's eight kids in the class, and there was like 12 cheese sticks and 12 um, bars. So, Jackson typically takes a nap for about two hours, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a salad for lunch. This morning I had Ishbani Flip yogurt, but I'm just going to make this chef salad real quick and chill for a minute. Just watch some TV, eat my salad, and yeah, just hang out, and then I will get back to cleaning. I also am going to, tonight, since we have swim, it's going to be cutting close to time of when dinner should be made, so I'm going to actually pre-make the macaroni. We're just going to do a simple dinner of hot dogs, macaroni, and beans, and so I'm going to make the macaroni after I eat my salad. It is time now to start making the macaroni and cheese to make sure that it is ready for dinner. Can't forget snack break. These are the creepy cocoa crispy M&Ms. They basically are like those cocoa crispy cereal inside the M&M. Pretty good, not my favorite M&M. The pretzel M&Ms are where it's at. But I am just making the mac and cheese just off of the back of the Annie's box and making sure, like I said, it's ready for dinner tonight. going to make sure to clean up the dishes for the mac and cheese so I don't have to do it after dinner as well.
while Jackson continues to nap, I am going to take all of my boxes of random recycling and trash all upstairs and start organizing it. I just really need to get all of this figured out, get in the recycling bin and out of our house. I don't know if any of y'all are like me, but there's so many boxes and when you order from Target and if you order from Amazon, they ship you pretty much everything that you order in separate boxes. It's kind of ridiculous. They all want to do that two day free shipping, but it starts to get a little too much recycling. When I got all of that sorted out and put away in the recycling bin, I decided to dust off the surfaces in my room and finish off cleaning it. Moving on to the playroom, I decided to hang up Jackson's new preschool pictures on his little display place and get his room tidied up. I decided to get really interested at this moment and tackle my closet in my beauty room. This is a hot mess, but it's something I really desperately need to work on. So I try and tackle it a little bit today. Those pretty words you said, it's like I'm wasted. Every time I see your face, I'm losing track of time and space. I don't know where I am. It's like I'm wasted. And I won't waste it. And I promise that I... I will stand by you forever I can't get you out of my mind I will follow you wherever And I won't waste it Now, cuz 
Cause I don't wanna slow this down My heart is screaming out your name I'm wasted on you Here we are right underneath the stars So let's get a little reckless You make me breathless And I won't waste this And I promise that I This is where I call it quits for this project for today. I put everything on the floor that needs to go back to certain areas in the house. I put those away in the Lowe's moving box. I put in the recycling trash that I need to dispose of and I'm just exhausted. So just when I decide to take a break, I think little man is getting up right now. He does this where like he'll wake up and then go back down. So I kind of wait until he either starts crying, says mama, or hits his little aquarium. Um, if you go in earlier than that, sometimes he was not ready to wake up. So he just laid down. I'm going to just watch some TV for a little bit. It is, it is 2.11. So once 3 o'clock hits, I'm going to change into my bathing suit. I'm not changing him until we get to swim class but yeah if it's either he wakes up or three o'clock whichever one happens but tv time hi bud joe go nap he's so sleepy so jackson is just gonna eat a granola bar before we head to swim class, we have about 15 minutes, so we're just chilling out and letting Copper go out. Yeah, I need to clean this because Copper, like, super got this dirty. So that's the job for tomorrow. In the car, and we are ready to go to swim class, then come back and I'll reheat everything for dinner. It is good to go. I'll have to make the hot dogs, but I can reheat the macaroni, beans, which will be awesome just to reheat everything and not have to cook so much stuff right now. Time to get dinner ready. So I am cutting up some grapes with this awesome grape cutter, getting everything reheated and onto our plates for dinner. So we have mac and cheese, broccoli, hot dogs, beans. I think that's about it. So good and so quick and easy. grapes, macaroni, hot dog bread, broccoli. So not the most super healthy meal, but since everything was like relatively already cooked, it was really easy to whip up really fast after swim. Um, an instructor told me that Jackson is doing so good in swim, he might be able to move up early. Normally you move up at two years old, but she said that he can actually try out sooner to get in that swim class. We're actually canceling the swim class at the end of the month. I don't know if maybe that's why they brought it up or what, but that's good to know. I'm gonna work with him at our local pool and do it that way. And then once I feel like he'll not run away from the instructors, then we'll probably sign him up in the future. But right now we're gonna take a little break after this month. Yeah, your puppy? So we just went trunk or treating last Saturday and Jackson is obsessed with this Halloween candy bag. He, I don't think he can eat any of that candy. That what he has, he can, the gummies, but a lot of it is lollipops. So I don't think he's ready, but copper's ready. It is about 5.40. I need to feed this man. Yeah. His little cat door. I'll link it below if you guys are interested. Night, night. Yeah. Just 
walking all over the place with your little Halloween candy. Ooh. You're excited for Halloween? What you got in there? Ooh. Candy! Okay, let me start your bath. End of the night, Jackson is in bed, so I am putting up and cleaning the kitchen for the night. Sort out of lies, oh baby, yeah. There was a part of me that knew that, and still I'm caught by surprise. I thought you'd always be mine. Oh yeah, I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Baby, going down, 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 down. Baby, going down, 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 down. Tried so hard to stay. Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I thought It's time I'm letting you go This time I know it for sure Just thought I should let you know Patch up all the scars, yeah. but we smashed up all the parts. Oh, na na na. Always knew that you were stubborn, but didn't know it'd be so hard to figure out who you really are. Oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Baby, going down, 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 down. Baby, going down, 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 down. We tried so hard to stay afloat. Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes. Baby, going down. It is a lot lighter than normal. It's about 8.35, 8.30. Jackson is just now going to sleep. I tried 7.50, 8 o'clock to put him down, screaming and crying, did not want to go to bed. So I went back in there and was rocking him. He just wanted to get out of his room. He did not want to go to sleep, but he needs to go to sleep. So I just left him. He is rolling around in there. Hopefully he'll go to sleep. I cleaned the kitchen. Um, what I'm planning on doing now, I'm so exhausted. I'm going to do, I am working on trying to get my splits again and my flexibility. So I have a playlist that I do like every other night and I'm planning on doing it tonight. My Apple watch is telling me I did not do 30 minutes of like hardcore workout or cardio today. I did 18. I don't have the energy in me today. Sometimes I do um, dance fitness with Jessica videos on the days I don't get to the gym to work out at night, but tonight I'm just pooped. So I'm gonna do the stretches, take a shower, and then probably curl up in bed and watch some Hulu or Netflix. So thank you guys so much for spending the day with me and helping me get it all done today. Like I said, I didn't get everything done that I wanted to today, but a good majority of it. So if you like these videos, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye. Stumbling out of bed, and I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said, it's like I'm wasted Every time I 